19 states have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. It's 2024, an election year. America has descended into utter civil war. Armies are about to storm the capital. Middle America puts on a brave face and hopes it all goes away. If only it were true. <laughs> a lot of people died. And a lot more are going to die unless he gets a lot smarter, a lot quicker. So, Mr. President, did you use the word smart? In director Alex Garland's latest flick, the United States has indeed fallen into a destructive civil war. The Western Alliance of Texas and California are advancing toward Washington, D.C., where the president is making his last stand. A team of photojournalists documenting the war attempt to get there before the alliance takes the capital to get the last interview with the president before he gets his last rights. However, with the trailer footage I'm showing you, you'd be forgiven for thinking this is an all-out war fest. It's more a road movie about the harrowing effects of war on the most powerful nation on Earth. Kirsten Dunst really pulls it off as Lee, a highly distinguished photojournalist. There's great fully fleshed out characters, dialogue and suspense. Hey, Jesse Plemons makes a scene-stealing appearance as a scumbag. He's so good at playing. Mr. The stand in here. What? Right. Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> it's the kind of film A24 have reintroduced to Hollywood. I just wish we got to see more Nick Offerman who gave a scene-stealing performance. It's never too early to learn that the government is a greedy piglet that suckles on a taxpayer's teat until they have sore, chapped nipples. However, depending on your political persuasion, it's a film that's rife for controversy. A polarising subject is always going to do that, although it's hard not to read some background into it. Now, you're asking me, do I think this is anti-woke or woke? I'd say neither, really. But hey, consider this. If this president has managed to unite Republican Texas and Democrat California, he must be doing something bad. The film's actual main concern is on the weightier matter of the role of journalists. And one quote from Lee stands out. The role of journalists is to record events without contaminating them, allowing audiences to witness them at their most raw. And as an ex-journalist, I couldn't agree more. The film takes the same view on how you're supposed to view it. Just enjoy the film and make up your own mind. And be kind. As my friend Thomas Thorogood found out when he did his review, there was a civil war in the comment section. He's done an excellent job. And if you want to delve deeper, watch his video. I'll pop the link on the screen and the description below. He's a better man than me, I tell you. Now, I'm saddened to hear that this is Garland's last directing gig. He's given me a lot of great thought-provoking and well-made features. And I'm excited to say my next video will delve deeper into another Garland film, Ex Machina. Hit the subscribe button and the bell buttons so you will be alerted when it comes out. Let me know what you think by leaving a feisty but kind comment in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next one.